welcome to the Cap Guy Show, starring JT and the Cap Guy. Now here's the Cap Guy. Morning, boys and girls. Welcome to the Cap Guy Show, starring the Cap Guy over here and me. I'm JT. We live in Oklahoma. What's going on today, Cap Guy? You going to the Goodwills? Why would you say that? Because it's Old Man Discount Day at Goodwill. Wednesdays are 15% off for people over 55, and the Cap Guy's over 55. I probably need to be coming back here and working. Twerking? You're not Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I didn't say twerking. I said working. And I knew who Miley Cyrus is. You can tell my heart. My achy, breaky heart. Wait, get, hey, wait, wait. That's Billy Ray Cyrus. That's her dad. Oh. Well, anyway, did he twerk? No, he had a mullet. What's a mullet, Cap Guy? It's a long piece of hair behind you that hangs down off your uh, your regular hair there. And they just grew down and they cut it. And on the sides, you have short hair. That's kind of silly. <laughs> it wasn't back then. Everybody seemed to have them. That's silly. Anyway. All right, folks. Let's get on with it. What? I ran out of words to say. Oh, no, I didn't. Welcome, Swamp Picker. Three Gen Hustle. That's three. And then Gen and Hustle. Check them out. Subscribe. Uh, he makes some pretty good money. <laughs> he sure does. He sure does. He sells trains and stuff. That's pretty cool. And Swamp Picker said he'd been on Lonnie's channel a couple times. Yeah, yeah. I've never got to be on Lonnie's channel. Well, he lives like 20 minutes down the road. So, anyway. But we're going to get into what we sold. Y'all have a great day. Thumbs up. Like, share, view, subscribe. And let's try to get to 500. We appreciate you. And the cap guy and JT. Wait, that's at the end. Oh. All right. You can kill my bar, my breaky. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. Yeah, thanks for the new subscribers. I had a live last night. Had a lot of people in there. We had some real fun. We were laughing, cutting up, and learning about a lot, e a lot about each other. And uh, that's awesome, too. And I appreciate everybody that was there. And uh, I kind of do my lives unannounced. So hit that notification bell, because I like to do them just whenever I feel like it. And, of course, I'm trying to build up my hours as well. And uh, and uh, we went for about almost two hours. And then we had to get on Angie Resale's uh, channel for her 12-day giveaway, which is similar to Ellen DeGeneres's, except that the prizes aren't like Ellen DeGeneres's, but her sponsors give those away anyway. So Angie's been kind enough to give away some stuff she has. And um, there you go. So check everybody out. And uh, keep keep watching YouTube, watch the resellers. You learn a lot from different ones. And we all kind of learn different things from each other because some of us are experts on certain things and some are on others and some a little bit of everything. So um, for me, it's jerseys. I would say I know more about jerseys and probably ball caps than anything else, but I do know a lot about other things. And I learn. I mean, Mary Kay make uh, Funko Pops, video games, you kind of learn as you go. And, and again, I keep preaching comp, sold comp, everything. And that'll tell you if the cost of goods is low, like the plush, 26 cents, and you can sell it for $70, you're going to do it. Video games, $2.02 .02 at Goodwill, even for 30 bucks, do it. That's, that's how you make the money. You keep your cost of goods low and you make good profit. I know on social media, a lot of people are going crazy because People are selling Xboxes and PS5s uh, for 800 1000 1200 It's what the market bears. And if you're an eBay reseller, that's what it is. Um, it's, I haven't been able to get a, a, a PS5, and I've tried very hard to get one. I did get lucky and get an Xbox X. But I don't play video games much at all. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet, but I'm not selling it on, on Facebook Marketplace. You just have to put up with so much from people that... Uh, just don't understand buying and reselling or capitalism if that's what it is. It's not gouging. It's it's what the market bears, just like the plush. I wouldn't pay $70 for a plush, but if you will, I'll sell it to you. 
And, uh, and I came down off that price. It was over $80. So you got to move the prices down when, when they're not selling and, and, and you're still making a great profit. I mean, almost 60 bucks off of a plush. I mean, come on. So anyway, I'm going to get off that rant and uh, let's get on with the show and what I sold. Appreciate you folks. All right. Um, had eight sales yesterday. The first one I sold was this Xbox 360. Infinite Undiscovery. I paid uh, 202 a Goodwill for this. Sold it for 11.49 with free shipping. I made $4.51 profit. The next is part of a plush deal. Paid 94 or twenty-six dollars for 94 plush. Plants vs. Zombies, Angry Birds, Sonic, and other things. Um, there was some Popeye, uh, Beetle Bailey, stuff like that. And a lot of these were a little bit older, but. Um, they were getting rid of all the stuff and uh, just bit of, did a bundle deal for all of it. And um, I sold a Tales of the Sonic uh, series for about $75. And again, these comped at 26 cents a piece. And I sold this for $70 off 26 cents with free shipping. This is going to France. I ended up making 56.85 profit. So definitely be looking for these uh, themed plush on some of these other, you know, Older plush and uh, some not so old. The next is K Bethos. Sip happens. Oh, you can't say that on YouTube. What? You know what you said? <laughs> I said sip happens. Oh my goodness, JT. Anyway, it's a lady's uh, distress ball cap. Got the wine glasses on there, and uh, I paid two thirty-two at Goodwill for that. Sold it for sixteen seventy-nine plus shipping, and I made $13 on that. The next is uh, Marvy Uchida Fabric Markers. They're fluorescent. Got these at the Goodwill bins. They're brand new in the package. Uh, sold them for 12 of free shipping, and I made $6.26 profit. The next is one of these. I'm running out. I got seven left. I've sold 13 in the last two weeks. Paid $50 for a bunch of these, 20 of them. And uh, so $250 invested. And I sold it for 22 free shipping, and I made 11.93 profit off that. This is from my buddy Creeker's yard sale. I bought a bunch of stuff, including an HP calculator. I paid a dollar for and sold for 118. Um, this I paid 40 cents for. I bought several of these. I'm selling them for nine with free shipping, and I made three dollars and 64 cents. You got to have smalls as well. And then Chris Angel Mind Freak. I paid two dollars at a yard sale for a T-shirt. And a hoodie, and this is the hoodie, youth large, and um, pretty popular, and kind of a cool logo there too. Uh, paid two dollars, sold it for thirty with uh, shipping on top, and I made twenty three sixty nine. The other thing I saw was a Cabbage Patch doll, and it's not showing up on my computer in the solds, so I don't know if it's been pulled down or what. It was a Cabbage Patch doll, African-American Cabbage Patch doll, and um, but it's showing in my tracking on my phone, so there you go. I don't understand that. I paid a dollar for it, sold it for $16.99 plus shipping, and I made $13.76. So on the day, I had uh, eight sales, $10.75 in cost of goods, $188.27 in sales, and $133.64 profit. My goal is to make 150 a day, but hey, 133.64 off of a $10.75 investment, I will take it all day long. Thanks uh, again to everybody that subscribed, that watches, and I appreciate you. We had fun on my live again last night, and don't forget, when I get to 500, I got a giveaway, and when I get to 1,000 subs, I got another giveaway. So tune in, subscribe, like, share, view, all that good stuff, and the Cap Guy and JT, we will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks, folks.